when we were kids we had our grades in our schools and after we went to college we had our gpa but guys states and union territories were given grades do you want to know how this is happening and do you want to know which state is the topper continue watching this video first of all what is this performance grading index see it is a tool to provide insights and data driven mechanisms on the performance and achievements of school education across all states and union territories so the index is grading the school education across various states and union territories see the prime objective of this index is to promote evidence based policy making and also it helps to highlight course correction to ensure quality education for all now coming to the most important fact this index was devised by department of school education and literacy under the ministry of education see as far as prelims is concerned we need this information only this performance grading index is released by ministry of education to be specific it is devised by department of school education and literacy i know that so far the department has released the performance grading index report for the year 2017 18 2018 19 and now for the year 2020 21 so this is about the basic information of performance grading index now coming to the indicators see the pgi that is the performance grading index it has a structure and this pgi structure comprises of 1000 points and this is across 70 indicators grouped into two categories one is the outcome category the other one is governance management and these categories are further divided into five domains they are learning outcomes and quality access infrastructure and facilities equity and governance process so this is about the pgi structure it comprises of 1000 points it has 70 indicators grouped into two categories outcomes governance management and they are further divided into five subdomains infrastructure and facilities learning outcomes and quality governance process access and equity and out of these five domains learning outcome access infrastructure and facilities and equity comes under the outcome category and governance process comes under the governance management category now just have a look at this table to know the weightage given to each and every domain see learning outcomes they have 180 points access 80 points infrastructure and facilities 150 points equity 230 points governance process 360 points and totally they comprise of 1000 points now what is done in this report see the performance grading index 2020 21 it classified the states and union territories into 10 grades For example the highest achievable grade is level 1 and this level 1 is for states and union territories that are scoring more than 950 points out of the 1000 points and the lowest grade is level 10 which is for score below 551 points now what is the need for this grades and scores See the ultimate aim of the index is to help states and union territories to identify the gaps. Once they identify the gaps, the states and union territories will accordingly prioritize the areas for intervention and they can make sure that the school education system is robust at every level. And this is exactly why this index is devised by the Ministry of Education. Now with this basic understanding let us discuss about the performance grading index 2020-21 report. Now let us see who is the topper. Interesting no like in school states are also assigned grades here. But unfortunately there is no state in the top grade. See Gujarat, Rajasthan, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Punjab, Chandigarh and Maharashtra they were categorized under level 2. and the score they got range from 901 to 950 out of the total score of 1000 okay 
See, out of the states that we saw just now, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Andhra Pradesh were newcomers. That means these three states achieved level two for the first time. Now moving on, in level three, that is between a score of eight fifty one to nine hundred, a total of twelve states and union territories are found, and this includes National Capital Territory of Delhi, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Odisha. Now the third point and an important point is that no state was found in the bottom 3 grades it is commendable no it means that all states are performing good but it also needs certain tweaking for improvement now moving on see the newly formed union territory that is the ladakh has made significant improvement in performance grading index Yes, it has improved from level eight to level four in the twenty twenty to twenty one report. This is appreciable because it is the highest ever improvement in a single year. Now, if you want to know more topics like this, subscribe to Shankar A's Academy's YouTube channel or watch the daily news analysis of Shankar A's Academy. Thank you.